I don't know what I'm doing wrong. It's not a complicated spell. I should be able to do it non-verbally. Why is this not working? Ugh! Oh, hello there. Welcome to Gryffindor. I'm Cressida. Pleasure to meet you, Cressida. Splendidly theatrical arrival to the sorting ceremony last evening. Made it in by the skin of your teeth. Is it true that you're Professor Fig's protege? I'm not sure I'd say that, but I did a study with him a little before we arrived. Blast! I was hoping he might have given you some advice on non-verbal casting. Is that what you were trying to do just there? Oh, yes. Having a spot of trouble. I've mastered the charm using its incantation, but this is proving a bit trickier. A little more practice ought to do it. I practiced all summer. I can cast spells more complicated than this one without speaking. What's so difficult about this one? I'm just going to keep at it. Is it really that difficult to cast non-verbally? Oh, yes. And if you don't get it just right, the results can be, shall we say, awkward. Once, I tried to cast Depulso non-verbally on a goblet in the Great Hall and ended up launching Professor Sharp's Yorkshire pudding into his face. He was not happy. <laughs> Do most students know how to cast non-verbally? Not at all. Hogwarts doesn't teach non-verbal casting until the sixth year. And even then, many struggle with it. I'm simply trying to get ahead of the game. Well, good luck with it. It was nice to meet you, Cressida. You as well. Enjoy your first day. Who does Nelly think she is, anyway? Nelly, she gets get bolder. down every year. Professor year. could arrive any moment. Why is everyone so highly strung? It's perfectly safe. <laughs> well, hello. Don't mind me. I find it helpful to change my point of view now and again. Put things in perspective. Once I made it to the top of Gryffindor Tower, from the outside, without a broom. Goodness. <laughs> I'm Nelly, by the way. Nelly Ogspire. I've heard rumors about what happened to you on your way to Hogwarts. Is it true? About the dragon? Yes, our carriage was attacked by a dragon. Crikey, I can't believe it. How thrilling. And also terrifying. 
Anyway, you've certainly brought some much needed excitement to Gryffindor. And Hogwarts, for that matter. What exactly are the rumors about my journey to Hogwarts? Uh, that you escaped a dragon attack? Isn't that enough? Most of us arrive via train or boat. Not having just escaped the jaws of a dragon, of course it's got people talking. Word travels fast at Hogwarts. I take it you're not afraid of heights? Hmm, it's something I've always done, since I was little. My mother once found me on the roof when I was five. Still has no idea how I got there. But with all the strange hallways and rooms in the castle, and everything lurking in and outside the grounds, you don't need to scale a tower to see something incredible here. I'd imagine most students have never seen a dragon. Have you? Goodness, no. And I've never heard of one attacking a carriage like that. Not enough meat in a carriage, I'd think. I'm sure I'll be seeing you around, either in our common room or when you scale your next tower. <laughs> you never know. Bye for now. The sorting hat took ages to sort that poor from Couldn't find a strong enough trait, is my guess. How awkward. I wish It'll be the next Butterbeer. Sure you don't want to try it? Brewed it myself. Hello. You're the new fifth year. Pleased to meet you. I'm Gareth Weasley. Heard about your travels here. Can't believe it. Glad you and Fig are all right. Is it true that someone from the Ministry was with you in the carriage? Oh, uh, yes. A friend of Professor Fig's. Oh, didn't mean to pry. Nasty business, dragons. Again, very glad you're here. Thank you, Gareth. So am I. Are you related to Professor Weasley? I am. She's my aunt. Must be nice having an aunt for a professor. You'd think so, wouldn't you? Aunt Matilda tends to treat me as if I'm a first year. Keeps too close an eye on me. It's all a bit suffocating, to be honest. Still, she means well. And she's an incredibly powerful witch. She'll have your back. Are you having butterbeer for breakfast? Hmm? Oh no. I've been perfecting a recipe I came up with over the summer. I'm almost there. Based on some reactions, it may need a bit more work. Seems you enjoy brewing. Might I assume that you've a talent for potions of all sorts? Well, as I see it, there's little difference, fundamentally, between brewing a modification to butterbeer and a Wiganweld potion. Though. I'm not certain Professor Sharp would make the connection. He doesn't appreciate my, uh, creativity as much as you might think. Well, it was nice meeting you, Gareth, and thank you for the insights on your aunt. Pleasure to meet you as well. Good luck today. New Gryffindor, Professor Weasley's waiting for you outside the common room. Huh? Huh. <sighs> Well, I've yet to understand how... What did you think you were doing? That owl has been in our family for 30 years. And you thought it would be clever to transfigure her into... into a goblet and leave her in the Great Hall after a feast? I hear the elves have had to transfigure every goblet in the castle looking for her. I hope you're jolly well proud. I trust you're ready for your first day at Hogwarts? I've been dreaming of this day for a long time. Can't believe I'm here. Well, you are here. Make the most of it. You only have one first day at Hogwarts. Now, in light of your unique situation, joining us as a fifth year, you'll need to catch up with your classmates and not fall behind. 
especially as you'll be expected to complete your OWLs at the end of the year. OWLs? Owls? Yes, your ordinary wizarding level exams. They will determine what type of career you can have when you leave here. After much discussion with the Headmaster and the Department of Magical Education at the Ministry, we've devised something extraordinary to ensure your success. Here you are. What is it? It is a wizard's field guide. It will help you to keep track of what you are learning so that you master all that's expected of a fifth year. You would be wise to take full advantage of this exceptionally valuable resource. Thank you, Professor, but what do you mean it will keep track of what I'm learning? Perhaps seeing it in action will answer any questions you may have. Walk with me and we shall put it to the test. This way. The guide will give you opportunities to practice your magic and educate yourself about wizarding lore. I certainly would have appreciated Lumos. something like the field guide when I was a student. Using the guide will also train you to be a Revelio. Do keep up. Ah, the guide appears to have some information for you about that painting of poor Barufio. Simply cast Revelio on it. Revelio. And we'll see what the guide says. isn't it? Keep your eyes open for more opportunities like that, inside and outside of the castle. Revelio! No time to waste. You've classes to attend. opportunity to show you how to use flu flames to get around a bit quicker. Your field guide contains a map of the castle. Open it up and find Central Hall. And here we are, quite the time saver. These stairs lead directly to Central Hall. 
You can get almost anywhere in the castle quickly from Central Hall. Always something happening here. It's the heart of the hive. Our King's Cross Station, so to speak. That should be all for now. You'll be expected to attend both Charms and Defense Against the Dark Arts classes today. And I'd like to be sure you get to Hogsmeade as soon as possible to replace the supplies you lost on the way here. What will I learn in Charms class? Exactly what you might expect. Spells, charms, jinxes, all terribly useful. I think you will enjoy Professor Ronan. He's a clever and entertaining wizard and a talented teacher. Can you tell me more about the Defense Against the Dark Arts class? Defense Against the Dark Arts, as the name implies, focuses on how to defend oneself against the evils that lurk beyond these walls. A mastery of Defense Against the Dark Arts is required for those who aspire to become Auras. Fortunately, we are lucky to have the ever-gifted Professor Hecate in charge of our students' education in that regard. You mentioned Hogsmeade, Professor. Hogsmeade is the only all-wizarding village in Britain and is home to an array of shops and pubs. You should be able to find all of the school supplies you require in Hogsmeade. You will also, I imagine, enjoy many a butterbeer there with friends in due course. Thank you, Professor Weasley. A lot to absorb on your first day, and you have much to learn. Happily, your professors have agreed to create additional assignments for you outside of class. You'll be up to speed in no time. Judging by your adept use of Revelio earlier, I'd say Professor Fig succeeded in at least showing you the basics. He did, Professor. He's been terribly vague as to the events preceding your arrival, specifically about what happened after that awful dragon attack. My suspicion is that there's more to the story than a search for belongings and an extended trip up to the castle. We did take a bit of a detour on the way here. Ended up exploring some ruins and... I shouldn't say more. Exploring ruins? Well, I presume Professor Fig has his reasons for keeping the details to himself for now. Speak of the devil, Professor Fig. Your ears must have been burning. Oh? Yes. You seem to have provided our new fifth year with a solid foundation in the basics of spellcasting. Ah, I'm afraid I can't take all the credit there, Professor. They've a rare aptitude for magic, it seems. Hmm. Well, I'm just glad you both arrived in one piece. Perfectly good boats and carriages to Hogwarts, and you chose to fly in the path of a dragon. I wouldn't say I chose the dragon's path, Professor. Rather unfortunately, it would seem that it chose us. Very well. Enough chit-chat. I need to get to class myself. Might I rely on you, Professor Fig, to explain the details of the field guide's map? Of course. Thank you. Good luck today. And remember to use your field guide. It will be invaluable to you. And invaluable to me, as I'll be using it to keep up to date on your progress. Yes, Professor. Come and find me in my classroom after you've attended both classes today, and I'll explain more about those assignments I mentioned. And we'll see if we can't get you to Hogsmeade for those supplies. It's good to see you, Professor. And you. I was hoping our paths would cross today before you immersed yourself in studies. Did I hear you and Professor Weasley talking about exploring ruins? She caught me off guard. I didn't tell her anything else about our travels here. I will say, I think she suspects we're not being entirely forthcoming. Yes, well, Professor Weasley is a brilliant and astute witch. It was right to keep the details to yourself for now. We don't know where this path we've embarked upon will lead. It may require a bit more flexibility with your time than she would approve of. And she may feel obliged to share details with the headmaster that would be better left between us. Understood, Professor. Good. Now, as capable as you are, 
I believe the ability you possess obliges you to be well trained. Happily, you have the benefit of an exceptionally skilled team of witches and wizards to guide you. Speaking of guides, and so that I may avoid another not-so-subtle reproof from Professor Weasley, why don't I show you the clever enchantment we included in the Field Guides map? Unfold it and have a look. The map is enchanted to help you find your way. This will be incredibly helpful. Thank you. Now, sounds like you've quite a day ahead, what with classes and a trip to Hogsmeade for supplies, including your own wand. You'll enjoy Mr. Ollivander. He's an exceptional craftsman and a good friend. I shall reach out when I have more information about our mysterious locket. For now, focus on your classes and pay attention. More than your owls may hinge on the magic you are able to master within these walls. Revelio. But my father worked at the ministry. Ugh. So. What? Hello. I don't believe we've met. Oh, hello. I'm Lenora. Pardon me if I seem a little distracted at the moment. Everyone thinks I'm utterly balmy. Samantha thinks I'm potty. But it's this painting. I never noticed it before. If I know Hogwarts, and I do, an empty frame doesn't appear for no reason. There's something more to this. Have you gained any insights about the painting since you've been studying it? I did discover that casting Lumos has an effect of some kind. But I'm not sure what to do next. Are there any other empty paintings like this around the school? Yes, a few. This entire place is somewhat of a riddle, to be honest. If I can work out the riddle of this one, I'll know what to do with all of them. As good a place as any to begin. If I have the time, I may look. Could be intriguing. <sighs> I've been racking my brains long enough. I hope you'll have better luck than I have. Do come and find me if you stumble on something illuminating that solves the mystery. Lumos. That spot must be a clue. I should look around in case it's nearby. Hogwarts is a second home to me. I'll think about leaving one day. I think I've lost. This looks like the location from the painting. What could be so special about? Let's get you back to your frame, little moth. of that empty frame. The Chudley Cannons are going to be unbeatable.
just wait and see. I'm trying to find a fly, a raven or an owl. Then I wouldn't need my own friend. Lenora! I solved the mystery of that painting. You did? How? I found the location depicted in the painting and then I cast Lumos to guide a moth back to the frame. All very logical, I suppose. Pity I was so close to solving it. You have a knack for solving riddles. Natty's good at that too. So is Amit, although he does tend to over-explain. Well, I'm glad someone figured it out. The moth! I should have seen that! Revelio. There's an open seat here. Thank you. Hello, I am Nettie. So you are the new student. Have you met Professor Ronan yet? <clears throat> Shall we begin? <laughs> Welcome to year five of charms. Now, this will be a crucial year in your education on the art of charm work, but I am confident that we will take hold with the passion and rigor requisite of such a challenge. Right, now, everyone, please open your textbooks to page 517. But before we begin, can anyone here tell me the difference between the incantations of the color change and growth charms? Anyone? Anyone? Hmm? Ah, 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 ah. I am afraid it is too late to study now. Hmm. My, the summer months must have really taken a toll on you all. <laughs> By the looks of it, you all spent your holidays practicing Obliviate on one another. <laughs> uh, hmm. Do you even remember how to perform a basic summoning charm? Hmm? Hmm. Well, it seems that we are in dire need of review. Everyone get into pairs and take positions on opposite sides of the classroom. Now let's put those textbooks to use as the blunt objects you so believe they are and 
take turns summoning them out of one another's hands. Only one book will be needed per partnership, Miss Dale. Thank you. Get into place now. Akio! That is not bad. You are a swift learner. I see a lot of potential, but remember, potential is nothing without practice. Keep at it. You might just rival Miss Onai here. Very good, everyone. That's enough of that. Well, as you all seem to have the basics down and it is an exceptionally lovely day, I was thinking that we might have ourselves a little excursion outside for a spot of fresh air. After me. I've always found that fun goes hand in hand with mastery, as I'm sure the Quidditch players amongst us would agree, hmm? <laughs> So, what better than a bit of sport to put our prowess with the summoning charm to the test, right? <laughs> So why don't we have our newest students start us off, hmm? Very simply, cast Accio on one of the spheres and relinquish your charge at the last possible moment. Now, uh, think of this like gobstones, if you will. But instead of throwing the marbles out, you are summoning them toward you. Sit! Splendid! Very good. Points to Gryffindor. But there's certainly no sport in playing without some friendly competition. Miss Onai, would you care to give our new student a bit of a challenge? Come on up. You'll be the blues, just as before, and Miss Onai, you are playing red. Clear? Yes, sir. Here we go! There we go. Stay focused. Let us see this. Excellent. Be sharp. Quite impressive. Let us make this a bit more interesting, shall we? I think we are well past interesting at this point. I'll say. Hey, enough chatter. Focus now. You will need it. This round settles it all. Watch this. That is how it's done. 
hier. Happens to the best of us. Good, both of you. Well done. Class is dismissed. Gather your things on the way out. Well done back there. You took the loss in stride. Didn't want to go too easy on you. Took me weeks to become proficient with Akio. It took weeks for me to get anything right when I transferred here. It gets easier, I promise. That's good to hear. It's a lot to take in all at once. To put it lightly, I remember how I felt when I first arrived. I transferred here from Wagadu just before my fourth year. My mother received an offer to teach divination here. Before I knew it, we had left Uganda and were halfway around the world at a new school in a new country. Is Wagadu much bigger than Hogwarts? <laughs> Wagadu School of Magic is the largest wizarding school in the world. So yes, bigger than Hogwarts. But it never seemed intimidating or overwhelming to me. It always felt like home. Is Wagadu a castle, like Hogwarts? Its address is Mountains of the Moon. It is not so much a castle as a beautiful edifice carved out of the mountainside. I remember the first time I saw it, the mist was so thick I could hardly make out anything at all. And then it just materialized before me, this enormous school that seemed to be floating in midair. This may seem an odd question, but is magic the same there as it is here? Mm, mostly, yes. But I did have to learn how to use a wand when I arrived here. Hardly anyone at Wagadu uses one. You can cast spells without a wand. Oh, yes. I find wandless magic to be much more instinctive. Not to mention quite convenient if one is without their wand. I must admit, however, that I am growing quite fond of using a wand. It seems very dramatic. It's nice to learn about another wizarding school. Thank you for asking. I do miss Wagadu, but I am glad to be here at Hogwarts. Ah, I think Professor Ronan wants to talk to you. Better not keep him waiting. Until next time. Of course, you can use Akio on humans, if you're so inclined. Revelio. You know it won't work with humans. After my brother learned the summoning charm, it was constant Accio this, Accio that, cutlery flying everywhere. Quite unsafe, really. You wanted to speak with me, Professor? I did. I trust your first charms lesson lived up to expectation? Well, an outdoor competition wasn't exactly the lesson I was expecting, sir. What charm is there in the expected? Miss Onai is a talented witch. Take it in stride. One often gains the most from the battles one has lost. Of course, Professor. It was a challenging match. Miss Onai is always a fierce competitor, though I sense that she is a bit distracted of late. <clears throat> now, 
Professor Weasley has asked that your professors give you instruction outside of the ordinary curriculum. Expect to hear from me soon regarding a special assignment that I am preparing for you. Revelio. Revelio. You're the new student, aren't you? As a mother born, and How nice to see you, my young friend. Werewolves, where were you? In the Goblin Rebellion of 1752. And by the end of it, the Minister for Magic was Albert Boot. No, it wasn't. <gasps> oh, what fun! I won't say my goodbyes. I shall cheer for the boy who says you're telling I'm lies. I'm not telling lies, Peeves. It was Albert Boot. No, it wasn't. It was Basil Flat. Oh! Oh, fight, fight! It's a bold attack! Was the Minister a boot or the Minister a flack? Stop it, Peeves! You'll get us in trouble! In trouble you will be, but you can't give Peeves a smack! She says it's a boot and he says it's a flack! Peeves! Enough! You'll get us all detention! Oh, and you're both wrong anyway. It was Hephaestus Gore. It wasn't boots and it wasn't flack, but you're all in trouble with Professor Black! <laughs> 